So in this lesson we are just going to look at a couple of examples that are a little more complicated than the ones we did in the last video. So in the first example there we have 6 times the square root of 49 minus 5 times the square root of 16. So just like we talked about in the last video, uh, we need to do the square root of those numbers that are indicated before we do any multiplying. And then of course we do multiplying before subtracting. So this subtraction sign right here is really the very last thing that's going to occur. So we say 6 times whatever the square root of 49 is, right? And we figure that out by saying what times what equals 49. Well, of course, 7 times 7 is equal to 49. And then minus 5 times what times what equals 16? 4 times 4 equals 16. So then we do our multiplying next. 6 times 7 is 42. 5 times 4 is 20. And then we subtract those and get 22 as our answer. So moving over here, um, we have the square roots of fractions here. So um, the trick for figuring out what the square root of a fraction is, is just pay attention to the top and bottom separately. So first just ask yourself, what's the square root of 9? Or what times what equals 9? Well, of course, 3 times 3 equals 9, right? And then ask yourself, what times what equals 49? Well, 7 times itself equals 49. And then notice, if you took 3 sevenths times 3 sevenths, you would get 9 49ths. So we know that the square root of 9 49ths is 3 sevenths. Right, we can do the same thing over here. The square root of 1 is 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. It's the easiest square root we know, really. And then the square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. We knew that from the last fraction. And then finally, we just need to get a common denominator here to put these together. So 3 and 7 share nothing in common, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom of 3 sevenths by 3, top and bottom of 1 third by 7. And so what we end up with here is 9 21 minus 7 21, which of course subtracts to give me 2 21.